Like most young, well-educated gentlemen of the 18th century, the Duke of Bridgewater was sent abroad on a grand tour to finish him off, a sort of gap year. He saw lots of Greek and Roman remains and brought a lot of them back with him, except that he never unpacked them, because after what he'd seen on the continent, he wasn't interested in art anymore. He was interested in this. A hundred years before the English got round to it, the French were building flights of locks like these on the Canal du Midi. And even they were slow off the mark. As early as 1500, Leonardo da Vinci was designing locks like these with mitre gates. Before da Vinci came along, most locks had gates with a vertical lift. But there's a big disadvantage to this system. Drop the gate and you're fighting water pressure. It's difficult to get a good watertight fit. Da Vinci worked with the water. The mitre angle means the water pushes against the gate to keep it watertight. Not only that, each gate pivots in the middle, making them much easier to operate. An efficient and effective canal system. This is what Bridgewater marvelled at. The Duke of Bridgewater returned from his grand tour and decided to build a canal to get the coal from his mines to the newly expanding town of Manchester. And he employed a promising up-and-coming new engineer called James Brindley. Now, in this representation of what then happened, I shall portray the Duke of Bridgewater and Gilbert, his surveyor, will be played by Vic here. This was a momentous decision. Nobody in Great Britain had ever before attempted to build a canal that was not connected to the river system. So, which way to go? Well, building locks takes time, so if we can, we want to avoid the hills. The whole procedure was done using a simple spirit level with a sight lens, or as we know it now, a theodolite. The first peg, first level, is worsely. My mind. Here we go. The figures on the surveying pole are upside down, but they're not if you're Gilbert looking through the lens of the level. Now, take a level, right, and then move along our route a set measured distance. Down, back up, that's it, mark that. And this is what they did, for mile after mile after mile. They followed the contours. They went round the hills. OK, Vic. Up a foot, up to me. One, two, three, four, five. Up to me. That's it. We're now on the other side of the hill that we started from. But we haven't gone over it. We've followed the contours all around. Thank you, Gilbert, also known as Vic. So we're well on our way to Manchester. But we haven't built any locks.